Hi, Barbara Allen here. I am author of the book, Conquering Arthritis, What Doctors Don't Tell You Because They Don't Know. It's been the number one best-selling arthritis book on Amazon.com for the last over five years. So today I'm here to talk with you about the six types of diet that work for um, helping your body heal from arthritis. The first is an elimination diet. And the important principle here is that the type of immune system reaction that causes arthritis is different than the kind that causes an immediate um, allergy. Like uh, when somebody goes into anaphylaxis, like with peanuts or shellfish, they are exposed to the allergen right away and then their throat tightens up, usually within minutes or seconds. So that's not the type of reaction that causes arthritis. It's something called a delayed food hypersensitivity or a delayed food chemical sensitivity and it can take 24, 48 hours, sometimes 36 or even more hours between when you're first exposed to the substance and when your immune system reacts. So in my book I describe several different ways to discover if you have this kind of delayed food or chemical reaction and if so, what they're to, because that's really critical information is knowing exactly what you're reacting to. And it's often things that are very common in your environment or you wouldn't have the arthritis to begin with because it wouldn't be triggered often enough to cause a problem. So um, you can do a selective elimination diet and then reintroduce foods and test them. Or I actually recommend something called the ALCAT test. And on my Conquering Arthritis website, if, if you could get on that, you can look at the information I have on the ALCAT test. And it's, it's a fantastic cheat sheet that where you can test hundreds of substances all at one time. And it'll, it can save you months or even years of puzzling it out on your own if you happen to have a complex set of sensitivities. So that's diet number one, is the elimination diet. Diet number two is based on the fact that certain foods have anti-inflammatory properties. So I actually recommend that you implement the elimination diet, um, find out what your food sensitivities are first, so that you're getting rid of the source of inflammation. And some of the, and then whatever I'm suggesting is a healthy food, if it happens to be a problem food for you, don't eat it. But for most people, what I'm gonna show you are healthy. So phase one is eliminating the problems, and phase two um, is, is adding healthy foods back. So there are many spices that are anti-inflammatory. Turmeric is one of them. Another one is ginger. This is ginger powder, and this is ginger root. So either one of these in cooking is very healthy. And Here's curry powder. It has many different anti-inflammatory agents, including cumin and ginger and turmeric. And here's what the um, cumin powder looks like. So that's another one. So that's a few examples of anti-inflammatory foods that you can add back into your diet. And they tend to not have the negative properties like tearing up your stomach that um, many of the prescription arthritis drugs or over-the-counter arthritis drugs have. They actually help increase your health instead of knocking down your inflammation but compromising your health with some other bad side effects like tearing up your stomach. Um, so the, the, third, the third type of diet that heals arthritis or can do that is one that helps your digestion heal. And so poor digestion is one of the underlying causes of arthritis and often when people have been on antibiotics even years before what happens is that there's a um, their good bacteria get wiped out of their digestive system and having a, a healthy population of these good bacteria are important for for good digestion so if you add back something called probiotics it will help repopulate your gut and bring it into a healthier balance. So you can do that either with little capsules that you buy at a health food store. Um, usually they're in the refrigerated section near something, you know, near flaxseed and other things like that that need to be 
refrigerated or you can buy fermented foods that contain these healthy bacteria. So miso, yogurt, sauerkraut, kefir, those are all examples. Um, kimchi is another one. They're all examples of naturally fermented foods that have these healthy bacteria that help bring our gut back into balance.